We are rest of our seats. Stephanie, so, have you been to Cafe Call? <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I welcome everyone to church this Sunday morning. It's a special Sunday. I believe I'm persuaded about it. Online, welcome on board. I pray that today's service will be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So on behalf of the pastor, I will come into his influence, church. This is an assignment that God has given to us to start a multicultural church here in Medway. We are here to emphasize kingdom growth, maturity, and ministry among saints here in Medway. I pray that our ministry will be a blessing to you Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Bro, bye, welcome back. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Thank God we don't need Lisa to see you. <laughs> and what's welcome, Pastor, back to, to the UK. Hallelujah. We thank God for John and Mercy. We thank God for John and Mercy. You know, when you go to Nigeria, you come back. You just have to thank God for John and Mercy. <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank God for joining mercy. And we are so glad to have him back. Amen. Because the word will be awesome today. Wow. After the service last, I had the children. I told uh, the children, I said, Mommy, you did well. But I said, just stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, children are very innocent. I said, just stop it. Stop it. I know, I know. But I know where you're going. <laughs> Anna was trying to encourage me. He said, Mommy, preach more. I said, Yes, I will, but I'm still learning. So today, this after I finished preaching last six one, I said, Yeah. <laughs> you know, I told I told the elder, I know me, I always say my mind. I told the elder, I said, How does pastor do it? They have to prepare every Sunday. And to hear from God is not easy. Hey! Do you know on Wednesday I had to make sure all the children fast with me? Even Gabriel. Till 2 o'clock. I said, we, we, we all hear God about this Sunday service. Because we are not going to preach in the flesh. We can because we can go to YouTube and copy. But that is not what God wants for the church. Because here yeah, we believe in the word. Amen. Amen. It's time for the word. Hallelujah. Amen. So I have the opportunity to um, prepare our hearts before the word comes. I know... Something I understand is this. There is something about the mind. There is something about the word of God. You know, I think was it this week? I say he made the name of Jesus popular. So everybody was putting it in their deep and meaning. I know what the Holy Spirit said to me. He says, see, there's something unique about that name. Three things about that name that makes it so unique. He said everything about his word, his name, and his blood works wonders. If you choose to use the blood, it works wonder. If you choose to use the name, it works wonder. And if you choose to use his word, it still works wonder. Just one personality. Amen. You know, sometimes when it will ever say something, sometimes determine the, 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 the power that backs that word, that commands. For instance, maybe the president of, maybe, let's say maybe Boris Johnson, Boris Johnson says something to you. You know you can take it to the bank. Why? Because it comes from the prime minister. Amen. If you take my name to the bank, they might not know. Maybe they will know me as a customer. But you know, they will, it will not fly. As not, <laughs> they will soon know. <laughs> Thanks for encouraging me. <laughs> Thanks for encouraging me. <laughs> Amen. So that tells us that there is something about the word, especially the word that comes from God. I believe God has prepared his servants to speak to our hearts. You know, I always say, I'm one person that believes that you should write when the word is coming. You can use your phone, you can use your paper, anything. Because guys, there might be tendency for you to go back. Amen. To go back again. You know, the burial Christian that says they always do that. They just keep examining the word. Amen. Because in you doing that, do you know when the pastor stop preaching? That's not the end of administration. It should continue in your heart. Amen. That's the way I say it. That there should be a conversation within you. That okay, this is what he said. What am I stopping? What am I improving? 
What is the Holy Spirit saying to me? How will my week be? Because it's the word of God. It's meant to help us. I pray that as the word comes again this Sunday morning, we will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. So it's a first church. Let's welcome Pastor for the ministry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody is happy to see me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. How are we doing today? Amen. Praise God. Andrew, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. Maybe I might tell you, we just need more support. Yes, you know, to just fire this thing up. Thank you for preparing for that time of worship. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So good to see you. Thank you. I raised one, two prayer points at night. I was apparently tired from journey. And I raised two prayer points. I think God answered one by bringing you. Praise mm -hmm. God. But when I woke up in the morning, I saw a missed call. And I replied, and then thanks for coming. I'm grateful. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's good to be home. Bye, y'all. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All the way for CFA. Ah, look at me. You got a spilling in the Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there's nothing, I won't say there's nothing special about that, yeah, but I'll say, yeah. <laughs> 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 Jesus. I want to give God the praise for his influence joy for everybody. It's good to be alive in God. Yes. Worshipping God should be intentional. Mm. Be intentional. The way God wants to build us is to give us something to just boost our you know, desire to see the, his personality. But the ultimate agenda of God is that irrespective of your circumstances, God should still mean the same thing to you. That, that's the goal. That, that's the essence of Christianity. Irrespective of your circumstances, God should still retain his value before you. Because in heaven, nobody is going to use anything natural to gauge or to judge or to appraise God. So when we're on this side, every journey to maturity is to take us to a point that the same value we have for him remains the same, irrespective of our circumstances. Are you with me? I don't know why that is coming. So, when we come together, he has already said that anywhere two or three gathers in his name, I'm going to show up. And they gather in his name, not in his provisions. <laughs> does that make sense? He will provide, you know that. It does. This is not where you are last week. This is not where you are last year. You know, even those that didn't pray, God still provided. Because he said, even the leaves of the valley, they didn't sow. They didn't reap. They don't tithe. They don't give offering. No prophet offering. <laughs> so, but God still blessed them. Yeah. And even the glory of Solomon that offered 1,000 sacrifices in one day couldn't capture the devil of you know, resort that this guy, this animal has. So if God could take care of what does not benefit him, why won't you take care of what benefits him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a word for somebody. Don't let this season stop your worship. Don't let this season stop your worship. Hallelujah. Don't let this season stop your worship. Hallelujah. Just take that as first cost me. Alright? Let's get into the word of God. <laughs> Philippians chapter 4. Don't let this season. What? Stop your worship. Don't let this season stop your worship. Just pocket the bad news. You know, the good news. Put everything somewhere. And just keep your gaze and your focus on God. I've discovered that some issues that come to our life, where even when we didn't pray, God still saw it. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so don't let this season stop your worship. Praise God. Amen. Philippians chapter 4, verses 10 through to 13 lies the assignment today. And I'm asking you, my God, to give me accurate and precise utterance. That might be able to present God's word to you in his fullness down into our spiritual body and be able to change our orientation Amen. as we continue in the journey of life Amen. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Philippians chapter 4, verses 10 through to 13. If you dare say amen. amen. If you don't know where it is, say, Pastor, help me. I believe we know where it is. The Bible says, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that now at last you have renewed your concern for me. 
Indeed, you were concerned about me before, but you had no opportunity to show it. Verse 11, not that I speak from a personal need, for I have learned to be content or self-sufficient through Christ, reading from the Amplified Bible, regardless of my circumstances. I read that again. Not that I speak from any personal need, for I have learned to be content regardless of my circumstances. I know how to get along and live humbly in difficult times, and I also know how to enjoy abundance <laughs> and live in prosperity. In any and every circumstances, I've learned the secret of facing life. Whether we're fed or going hungry, whether having an abundance or being in need, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And I'm ready for anything equal to anything through him who infuses in me the inner strength and confident peace. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4, Amplified Version. Amplified Version. The subject matter this morning is a base to abound. A base to abound. Handling the paradox of life, two extremes of life, the base and the abound. The base to abound. In the flyers I wrote her base and abound, yeah? But while we're digging deep into this thing, uh, I have to shame you from her base to abound. Handling the two paradox of life. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, everybody on that side might be is have something going nowhere for them. Mm -hmm. That makes you to come into church this morning and say, Oh my goodness, he's a good God. And if we hand over the mic to you and say it's this morning time, that is telling us you want to rise up and say something, you know, at least without even saying something, we can see it all over you that the weather is even doing well on you. You're looking fresh, and God is good to you. And his mercy endures forever. But life. Sometimes just come in a way that you just wonder, boy, why is this working? And I'm excited about this. Then I look at this, it's not working. And I'm under the same off under the same roof called God. Are you with me? That's that, that's the paradox of life that I want to treat this morning. And I didn't even know why 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 why, why this is coming, but probably you know, you know as my wife was saying. Anyway, my wife did well last week. Can we just appreciate that so that you can do more? Because yeah, I'm mean, coming. So that you can do more. <laughs> <laughs> this is the simple show here. Yeah, it's not only pastor that preaches. Yeah, this is an apostolic center. The goal of the simple church is to build number one maturity. And before you can build maturity among people, people might understand destiny. That they should more understand destiny. So we deal with destiny, we deal with maturity. Then, because we belong to the we have what we call body mentality. The next series, going to be our seven week series, is body mentality that I want to take us through. We believe in body mentality, and you cannot be efficient in the body if you are not balanced. So we do destiny. We do maturity, we do balance. And when we balance, and the body of Christ now gets to a level whereby everybody knows what they are supposed to put on the table and be able to show that before the world. I can tell you, Isaiah 2 1 will now come to pass. Then the last days, the mountain of the Lord that will be exalted above the nation. All nations will flow into it. Now we are flowing to the nation, we call it influence. It's a dimension. But there's another dimension where the nation will flow to us. And so one nation will flow to you. Say one nation will say to the other, let us go into the house of the Lord. That he might teach us his ways, that might walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go for the law, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. That season of our lives, the, the what, 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 what the world needs is not our aesthetics. Even though when they come, the aesthetics must be there. But that's not the proof that we are better. What we offer as our high level product is to tell them the reason why God created this thing called space. Because they don't know it. Are you with me? And you can't get to that level if you don't understand the importance of destiny. If you don't understand the importance of maturity in the body of Christ. And when you don't understand the importance of balance. And I'm telling you, by the time we start talking about that body, 
mentality, you will see that there is a need for the body of Christ to wake up. Is in flesh church is not a local assembly whereby you know we just come in. I'm even telling my wife, please, you have to just let's up this game. When we come here, when I finish preaching, let's rise up because people, if you don't come to church, we don't say the Lord increase you financially. The Lord does this. The service is not completed, and I'm telling you, we are balanced enough to tell you that there is more to your physical life that God can you know, treat when we come together. But when we come to a simple church, this is a training school. Hmm? Mm -hmm. This is a training school. This is a training school. I expect you to have a testimony that when you are outside, out of today's message, you can just do 10 minutes SEGs for somebody you know, that, 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 that is facing something because you are not just being taught about your life. You are taught to be able to teach others. Mm -hmm. Am I making sense? Yeah? So. That is what we do in the same flesh. That's why we're laboring in the same place. That's why we face some of the challenges we are facing in the same place church. And I'm telling you, fear not. This is the church of the Most High God. We are not the first, we will not be the last. They have won before we win and we fight. So are you listening to what I'm talking yes. about? So relax your mind. There is no battle about your life that the name of Jesus cannot resolve. Mm. Hallelujah. God is not proving a point on that. He has proved it. Amen. When he rose up the third day, Jesus rose up the third day. Hallelujah. He has proved it. It's not trying to use your life to prove a point. He has proved it. He has proved it. He has proved it. And he's raising you as a being, as an human being with a word in his mouth. That in response of the sector that you find yourself, you will be able to find a bearing in God. And when you speak and when you stand, you know that you have an orientation that is, you know, that, that, that is pounded by destiny. Have you listened to what I'm talking about? There's something special about you. Yeah, there's something special about Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We're beyond this. Mm -hmm. Bigger than this. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, abyss to about the paradox of life. Paul has a special message to us, which are Gentiles, because Peter was sent to the Jews, Paul was sent to the Gentiles. There's a way about the message of Paul that irrespective of where you are in the diaspora, you know, in this world, you know that Paul has an experience that can share with us. So, so I, I, when, when Paul was writing to the Philippians, the first thing that was really, you know, encouraging Paul to communicate with the Philippians was because among every other person that helped him in the journey to ministry, these guys were number one supplying his needs. So I was trying to give them, you know, some of the experiences he's passed through. Then it got to a point and he was trying to tell them, you guys were so kind to me and I appreciate it. Yeah. But while he was switching that mode, he brought in a secret of his life yeah. on the table to share with them. And he said, in as much, I, he said, I am not saying to you that I don't have a need. Neither am I saying that I do not appreciate the need you know, you know the, the, the need you are trying to meet, how you are trying to help me and, you know, do this. He said, but one thing I've learned is that I've learned the power of living in scarcity and also living in abundance. Whichever one comes my way is a circumstance. High Paul remains constant. Wow. Are you with me? The circumstances my shame, but I am constant. And they said, I have learned the secret of that to be content based on anything. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, one of the ways to prove your level of maturity is how you will have to change your seasons. Mm. Let me say that again. Mm. One of the ways to prove the level of maturity is how to change, how to how, to, how you respond to change the season. And you know the amazing thing about seasons, not every change in season is pioneered by the devil. Mm -hmm. Some are pioneered by God, but the symptoms look similar. Mm. Oh boy. If the devil closed the door, are you with me? If the devil closed the door, it's the symptom. You say, oh, I lost the job. Symptoms. If God wants to change your job, he will also close the door. It's the same symptoms. But the other side is that he's opening another door. That's the sign of God. And God is saying, I want believers to get to a level whereby circumstances does not affect. I, I don't need to preach to you. No, let me tell you this one secret. Somebody told me. He said, <laughs> he said you went to Nigeria. He said, I saw the fly. I said, your schedule was so busy, back to back. And indeed, it was back to back. Anyway, I, when I go to 
I believe, I, I'm, I'm going to get to the level I tell you more about me ministerially. I'm calling to the apostolic ministry, but I don't want to, I don't want title. My name is Deepak Panishila, and that's why I want to be. At some point, I can do ordination, but I don't want title. And there's a reason for I don't want title. I don't want title. I don't want title. I believe I'm calling to apostolic ministry. I know even I know. And I've seen the God I'm serving. And I didn't just see him now. I've seen him far back 16, 17 years ago. And I know the way Hokun's does. And I know the way Apostolic work operates. I can sit down here for three, six months, just in one place. And I can rise up and do 10 countries in two weeks and come back. That's, with, that's one of the symptoms of somebody that you know, operates in that. So nobody was now telling me. He said, we can't even see you. This journey is so busy. We seem fly back to back. And he said to me, he said, how, how did you do that? You did this repeat messages. <laughs> <laughs> that's his concern. Probably he has shared that. <laughs> you didn't repeat messages. How did you do it? How did you do it? In fact, one of the services, Sunday morning, oh man, those guys dream, man. They, not dream, they, they serve their own. I preach on father, preach on mothers, preach on children, professor on all of them. As in, by the time I was done, I knew that Lord showed me mercy. Then I see I've had that meeting. One of the things I must tell you, and let me confess to you, I preach the real message. That one is out of the outflow. But you know one thing is that you don't know how powerful it is here. Because it just oh, it comes in every Sunday. You guys are able to try, it comes in every Sunday. But the truth of the matter is that every message, every thought is a message, every message is a prophetic word, every prophetic word can even be a book. Mm. All right, package. Mm. Are you with me? Mm. And if I can test it here and it can work for you, mm. if I'm done with this message today, you are blessed. Mm. Probably there is a Finland. <laughs> There will be blessing in the next two, three years. Mm. But now, it is a base. Yes. Because I'm looking at you and saying, oh God. You know, it's easier for you, if you are 20 in the service, if I prophesy on three people, <laughs> ah, I have the prophetic gifts. <laughs> but if it is 10,000 people, and I prophesy on 50 people, ah, I'm a great man of God. <laughs> Some of you, the reason why you're playing game with your gifts and your ability is because where you are using that moment is not generating the kind of result you want. So you think it's not valuable. Mm. But you don't understand that how to prove that you are ready is what you do with that gift when nobody is seeing you, or when it's not ma ma material, or when it's not being rewarded, when nobody is not shouting. Wow. Yeah? Mm. Are you with me? Nobody is shouting. A base to abound. Wow. Are you still with me? So Paul is saying to them, look, if it is a ministry whereby I get to the place where so oh man of God, from the cat down to, to the puppy, everybody just say, hey, oh my God, this is, oh my God, this is, oh my God, this is, oh my God, man, I feel like a man of God. What about a place whereby you get there, they forgot to in the airport, you took bike, and you got to preach the message. Mm. At base, wow. to abandon. One thing I must confess to you, brothers and sisters, that you must learn to, to, to apprehend and to embrace your entire life is that God's model of training you and making you the best you can be is that every season of your life something will abound and another will be at ease. Mm. Mm. And God expects that your personality remains. Mm. Are you with me? <laughs> Are you with me? Mm. It remains the same. Remains the same. Come on now, come on, give me a smile if you get in this day. Remains the same. Same you, same God. You're the one that changes clothes when it is summer or winter. God does not change clothes. To let you know that when he created this thing, he is content. That's why he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. And because we are created, the earth was created for us, we're not created for the earth. That suggests that the head can change, but it doesn't expect us to change. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So the next time the devil comes to your life and begins to, you know, fight one dimensions of your life, you have to tell yourself that this is a change in circumstance, but I am supposed to remain a base to buy. A base to buy. A base to buy. When I, you know, sometimes when I preach, 
Then I'll prepare and I say, it's either God speak to me specifically, or a scripture come inspired me, or I'm just walking by the road and I saw something. And that God signited the revelation in me. Mm -hmm. So last night, yesterday, my wife and I were watching a movie on you know, Netflix. Please take time to rest and uh, take time to, to cool off. I know you're in the UK, but take time, yeah? yeah? Two hours a week. It's not too... I don't know why this element, this warmth you got told me, say you are, you're too busy with yourself. If you remove two or three hours out of your week to cool out, to relax, to rejoice, to sing aloud, to call friends that can make you laugh, to sit down with people that you can shout over each other and argue on politics, it will give you a better emotional balance. Especially in this environment we live in, no. A word is advice. <laughs> Take a little time, you know? A little time. Just call somebody that doesn't like talking to you and just take time to just talk. You know? You know? Please. And don't forget, even that your, your, your phone is a contract phone, so you have not even been using it. <laughs> Spend it. So my wife and I were looking at the movie, so if I would go on Netflix, the first thing I check is that was the movie of today. So I check the narration, if it makes sense, then let's check it. And exactly, the family growing up, the boy has a big destiny, but he doesn't know how to abase. Doesn't know how to abase. He enjoy one dimensions of God into a body. Many, and that's one of the major things why God is raising us or raising me. I believe in this environment to tell the blacks that we located that you cannot come here, and the only thing that defines your what is economic value. Mm -hmm. We need to talk about it because if God is raising us, and, it, and it's not only in UK, US is better. Canada is also a big concern. Not a big concern. Because now, because now we come to the, we come to this environment and, and, and if anything goes wrong with us physically, probably is a visa, probably is an immigration, probably is a is a, just mention a, a job or whatever. There is tendency for us to begin to interpret it as if God is not with me. Or oh, I, I push us to be closer to God. God said, I don't want you to deal with me in that aspect. No, 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 no. I want to understand that I am committed to you irrespective. And I am training you to be committed to me irrespective. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm not entering to this thing, but I want to be sure. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A base to burn. There are paradox of life that you cannot escape. You always see it. And I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why God permits it. The way God built you, one season is not the only season in your life. The one is the switching season. Mm -hmm. But you must have to learn. So today you wake up in the morning and, 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 and you're praying and the Holy Ghost was there. But you shake your heart and say, oh my, oh my. Why can't this prophetic grace upon me affect this marital destiny? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So this movie we watch, the guy refused to because he has everything working with him, we refuse to be abased. It's my base. We need to teach our children that this is not how we started. Mm -hmm. We give back to them with a British passport. Mm -hmm. Then we want to show them Nigeria or country where we came from. We are showing them the big cities there, the lake there. Excuse me, that's not where you started from. Mm -hmm. That's it from. The last time there was a power court, probably it's Gabriel that cried. The Nigeria I went to the last time, there was no, there was nothing. If they're not at this, God will struggle to retain them when they are bound. Because whether you are base or are bound, God still wants your personality to be the same. Not switch. Don't do big boy when you are bound. Then you're between, before people that are low, then you're doing another level. When you see people who are in meaning, call it whatever name of art that you get to, that when they have the publicity, it changes their personality. It's because they are not well trained. Mm -hmm. And God is telling us that even at the level we are here right now, I'm lifting you and raising your head high, but I want you to understand that you need to make a comment and a promise with me that your circumstances will not change your personality, mm -hmm. but your personality will control. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. 
That's why it's easier for us to pray, Lord, take me to the world. They take me out of it. Then you get to the diaspora. Then you say, well, I don't want to deal with the blast. No. I, I want to go to a white church. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's where I belong. No. They, don't, they don't have the message. You know, I don't want anybody to disturb me. I want to. If God led you, which is possible, fine. But that one, that thing you call level you're doing. If your if, 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 if God is not concerned about your destiny, why did he give back to you in the Jesha? You know? <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesha. 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 If your source is not important to him, even Jesus was called by his location of bad. It's Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Not Jesus Christ of Uncle Palace. He has a root. So you have to understand this adults of life. That you move stage by stage in your life. God will always change seasons. Mm. And if one of the things that God wants to deal with is your constant personality, irrespective of your circumstances, then number two, to make sure that you're always humble. Mm. They are always humble. Because like I can tell you, brothers and sisters, it's not easy to be humble in abundance. Mm. Try it. Try it. It's not easy. If they call you right now, that they just check record and they notice that you have a relationship with Bunker Palace, the way you stand up, <laughs> immediately, you've just had a call. You've never even confirmed, you've not seen the point. The way you will, the way you will, it will take God to tell you that, boy, calm down. Calm down. It's still you. Your height has not changed. Your whatever has not changed. It's still you. Calm down. And everybody that God has trained, as I give you case studies in the Bible, everybody God has trained, He trains them through those paradox of life. A base to a barn. When He wants to do anything, again, a base to a barn. To do anything, a base to a barn. You, you, you're a single lady, you want to get married, and God is saying, you have to submit to that man. He said, boy, I've got everything. I'm not coming to this man's life as a liability. God says, submit, a base. The one day you will wake up in the morning and you will discover that even though you call yourself the one, but you're making all the decisions. Because you've are you with me? You've abounded. You've abounded. Are you with me? A base to abound. A base to abound. So when you wake up tomorrow and you notice that something eats you that you don't expect it to come, you just know that God just wants to start another journey of what? A base to abound. A base to abound. And you should be excited about it because we're in the training school of the spirit. Are you still with me? Yeah. Come on now. Put a right upon your heart. Say, I'm getting it. I'm getting say, one more time. Say, I'm getting it. I'm getting, I'm getting it. it. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, this movie we watched, this guy, if I forget, this guy was just, was just misbehaving. Then he went through a journey. And by the time he came out, his common sense was perfect. Was perfect. And let me tell you one thing about life is that God will create that opportunity whereby you will taste these two seasons of life. Some of us came to probably UK, where you're coming from, big boy in ministry. Everybody is doing papa everywhere. <laughs> then you come over here, you start ministry setting up yourself. You are bound there, then you come here, you are base. And after a few years, God raises your head. And somebody says, that, where did it come from? You tell them, abyss to abound. This abundance did not come suddenly. It was from here to here. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. And that's how God is dealing with every one of us. Mm -hmm. So you stand sitting before me today now. There is something in your life right now that is flowing in abundance. Mm -hmm. Oh, you shake your head and say your head is perfect, but your pocket is empty. You're bounding on this side, but you're based on this side. And you're responding to know is that you're in the training school of the spirit. There is no season that God created that is expected to be permanent. Mm -hmm. Seasons are never permanent. Mm -hmm. It will always change. Mm -hmm. Seasons are never permanent. It will always change. Are you still with me? So in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 5, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 5, the Bible says there's a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 5. There's a time to throw away stones, abyss, 
through away revelations, the base, serving all the way, the base. But there's also a time to gather souls. Hallelujah. Amen. A time to embrace and a time to, to refrain from embracing. Hallelujah. Please write this down. You are based to get the supply. You are based, you are based to get the supply. But you are bound to release the supply. You are based to get the supply. You are bound to release the supply. And I'm going to give you a proof for that. Are you with me? Yes, sir. You what? A base to get the supply. Then you are bound to what? To release the supply. Look at what Jesus says to his guys in Matthew 20, 26. Matthew 20, 26. He said, not so with you. Instead, Matthew 20, 26. Not so with you, but instead, whosoever wants to be great among you must be what? Servant. So, you're wondering, same thing. You say, God, I want to be great. And God says, the way is to be servant. So, you a servant, a base, to get the supply. Then, you release it when you become the leader. That's why anybody that has not served before cannot be an effective leader. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. Cannot be an effective leader. And it's so, it's, it's so shameful sometimes in the body of Christ today that we don't even know how to, what characterize a great leader. Especially where we're coming from. That anybody can just come as a leader and you don't even know how to say, hmm, let's diagnose this. This is. Because everyone that wants to be a leader, according to Jesus' suggestion, you have to obey a servant. So that you can. It's in the place of serving that you acquire the revelation and pass through the feelings and the dealings of people you're about to lead. That's why you don't underestimate people that God called, actually, if they're genuine. Because for them to stand before you, they pass through something that gives them the, the, the qualification to speak the mind of God for you. And how? A base. A base. There might be, there is that tendency that there is nothing now that you are passing through or you are about to pass through now that have not passed through in the midst of it and I'm still preaching. A base. A base to abound. A base to abound. You cannot be anything tangible in God if you have not passed through nothing. It's the way he does this. It's his way. It's his program. It's his program. Are you still with me? A base to abound. Base to abound. Glory to God. Psalm 133. So how good and pleasant brethren to do it together in unity. Psalm 133. So like a hoil that flows of Hera's hoil, Hera's head, and went down to his bed. Psalm 133 verse 3. And down to his garment. Are you still there? Did I wait for you? Psalm 133 from verse 1. God is going to be giving you confidence about your life out of this service. Amen. Come on, I can't hear you. Amen. You'll be having extra confidence about your life Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You think God is not with you because of what you're passing through? You're living this service with confidence about you. will have confidence about your life. Amen. That this God you serve, this God you know, this God you're working with, is going to push you to the next phase of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That every form of areas of your life whereby you have been obeyed is going to move to abundance. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You will have come That's a word for somebody. You will have confidence about your life. Amen. They've talked to you more about God. It's time to say, I know who I'm talking about. Because I've seen him navigate my life from nothing to something. I've seen him practically solving problems in my life. Because, and I have confidence in him. Hallelujah. The things we have had, we look upon, our eyes have handled, say the same we present to you, that God is light, there is no darkness in him. I know who I serve. I know him. So Paul is saying to these guys, hey, hear me guys. He said, I have learned by experience, I've got a secret of contentment that I've got to share with you. You supply funds, you supply funds, you didn't supply funds, you are, you, you are there to support me, I am there too. And if you are not there to support me, I will still be there. And I have learned the secret of life. I can do all things through Christ 
And I know today it's so good for us to be in the place of prayer, even in spiritual warfare. And we pick that scripture and begin to scream it. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. God will keep quiet looking at you, but the devil will say, you didn't get the right scripture. He said, because if I'm to test that you can do all things, they want to share, how did you handle a season of abasement? And how did you handle the season of abundance? Are you listening to me? And if you can have the slightest grace and opportunity to stand upon your watch, to retain that capacity to still do the will of God when it doesn't sound good at the moment, I can promise you, your seasons of abundance will be more meaningful. Because you know, are you listening to me? Have you ever received a reward in God? Let, let, let me give a practical example of a woman like my wife that passed through all manners and shades of challenges and abasement with an husband. And I'm now standing before about 300 people Sunday evening in Nigeria and we're talking about sex and sins. And I said to you, look, this guy, you can like the way he looks like, but he's bought and f- Look, this one is forever gone. You can't, you only change to him. Okay, so. <laughs> Did you speak your way? No, I'm sorry. No. Oh, what's happening to me today? I just gave some. Uh, no. Okay, what, what, how do you call that in the English? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In other words, you can't entice me. You can't entice me. Because, because, because I've been abased before. Now that I'm abounding, I won't change levels. And when you see a man, after passing through all manners of mess in their lives, then they get to a level. And they have extra income and they misbehave family, check it. He messed up with the training school. Mm. He messed up with the training school. Mm. I'm telling you, because he messed up in his training school big time. Mm. Woo! Oh yeah, somebody is getting blessed today. That's that is sick now. <laughs> Hallelujah. He messed up. So rejoice in that season right now. Rejoices in that season right now. The time you are wasting your energy doing extra job, praying extra time to raise a shy. And the shy grows up and the devil says he's going to misbehave. You tell him, no, 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 no. I've been abased with this shy. Yes, sir. I, I, my, the, oh my goodness, the kind of job I did while this shy was growing was selective. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Just to make them to, to work according to the counsel of God. Devil, you can't do this. Yes. I paid my dues. Yes, I paid my dues. But based. And when it's time for abundance, you can't stop it. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? Come on, are you listening to I don't want to I want to I want to teach it, but I'm feeling that hard to preach. Hallelujah. So a guy called Elijah said, I hear a sound of abundance of rain. And everybody picked the prophecy, but it's a guy that went down, his head between the knees to pray. Only for him to rise up and God say it's time for you to run. And he has to run and overtake the sharot because he was the one that paid the price for the rain. Are you listening to me? And I make a declaration upon your life. Nobody will mess up your harvest. In the name of the Lord Jesus, right? You labor for it. Nobody will mess up your harvest. You pray for it. Nobody will mess up your harvest. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? You will enjoy the abundance that is meant for you. Hallelujah. And when the devil comes next time, he says, I want to change the harvest. You tell him, you are not there when I pay the price. You are not there when I labor for it. Are you with me? I pay the price for it. It's my due season. And I'm going, oh my goodness. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Please sit down. Please sit down. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. Kapala Toniko Zubrigade. And also for Halashada. In the name of Jesus. Nobody will tap out with your harvest. Because you are base before you enter into the abundance. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, will, you will not spend years to get British passport Amen. only for you to get it and be sick. Then you tell the devil, I paid the price for this. Yes, I paid my dues. Mm. Pay my dues. Mm. Even some people reap where they didn't sow. <laughs> How much more those that sow? Mm. You will reap what you sow. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your right hands to and say, Nobody will touch my harvest. Nobody, Nobody will touch my harvest. In the name of Jesus. In the name Jesus. Of Jesus. Yes. Yes. days of harvest, I will not be found in it. In the name of Jesus. Nobody will touch my harvest. Touch my harvest. In the name of Jesus. One more scripture. We can finish it. One more scripture. Mark, Mark chapter 14, verse 22. Mark chapter 14, verse 22. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 
Mark chapter 14, verse 22. Are you there? Mark 14, 22. Psalm 130. <laughs> Mark 14, 22. And as they hit, Jesus took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take it. This is my body. You could see that paradox there. Jesus took the bread. He blessed it. Prophetic word, God destiny. Hey, go into the nations. Into the nations. Yeah. It's your season to triumph. Amen. God is about to do something big with your life. Amen. You blessed it. Then the next thing is I broke it. How will you break what you blessed? Why, why will you break what you bless? Why, why? How will you break what you bless? I thought when you bless it, you give it. But after you bless it, you broke it. The paradox of life. The paradox of life. You say, I want to enlarge your tentacles. Then the next thing is that friends start to live in you. Mm. <laughs> paradox of life. Mm. When it's the flesh just scattered, they, as the, the meeting we organize everywhere I announce it, they left me. They also said, they left me. I said, you blessed it. Have you ever expressed a vision before passionately and people won't believe what you say? Mm. Blessed it. Instead of it to give it, he broke it. The prayer did not change in quantity and quality. Just got divided, he broke it. And one of the words that God said I should tell you is that when you are base, one of the things you wash out is multiplication of your gifts. Mm. So when I break it, I did not shame the quality of the bread, but I shamed his capacity to meet diverse needs. Wow. Oh boy. Wow. 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 I'm more gifted. I'm more gifted. Mm -hmm. When I went to the, you know, in this day, there's what we call market value. Mm -hmm. What you do is that when you have product, even though you might not want to invest in a new environment, we just take the product there to see how it will behave, you know, the value in the market. Sometimes when you travel like that, you want to just check. That the same thing you're doing there, can it work there? It will shock you that it will work louder mm. and better mm. and far. Mm. And far. Why? Because when he blessed it, the next thing he did was that whoop, he broke it. They just gave a prophecy on the Sunday that you're going to be a millionaire. Then the next day, you run into debt. You would have not just said it. Because I woke up with a high hope and I slept with a low hope. And God is saying to you, Shh, I gave the word. I gave the word, but keep your heart. I'm saying to somebody today, may you have confidence in the promises of God for your life. Yeah. Because God has made up his mind before he spoke. He won't change it. He won't change it. But you can't escape that journey of being a base. He blessed it. But he broke it before he gave it. Hallelujah. When he took the bread, it's your season of selection. And you know that the hand of the Lord is upon you. He was excited about it. Probably it's the first time you're hearing the voice of God. Having the ability to pray to God. And you know there is a colonial with the Spirit of God. Authentic. Then you get to a level whereby he blessed you. Prophetic with clarity. Oh man, you feel good. The way you hear some of those, you see some of those dreams when you wake up. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I proposed to this woman of God. She didn't give me immediate response many years ago. So she said it's not her fault. I'll forgive you. I know. Let's go to <laughs> many years ago. It took her nine months for us to respond. I tried though. I tried. Nine months for us to say yes. But in the midst of that nine months, eh? Brother, don't go through that. I pray you will not go through Amen. that. I said you are not in love. You will almost die. That nine months will be like nine years. It's not her fault. She said so. But it's all right. She was pregnant with the proposal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. She was pregnant with the proposal. But let me tell you my experience. It was in the midst of that nine months. You will pray for that. It was in the midst of that nine months that I have an encounter for the first time. 
mm. with God. Mm. And when I had that encounter with God, when I came out of that encounter, I said to myself, any woman that says yes to me, ah, hey, she will know that. As in, you come with, excuse me, you come with that level of confidence. Yeah? Are you with me? He took you. You bless it. Then we have to wait again for another four years before we got married. Wow. Yeah, he broke it. <laughs> four years, four months, four weeks, four days. Wow. Exactly. He broke it. You like the time when he took it. Ah! The one of God is upon my head. I am called though. Hmm? That revelation about marriage is so thick. So, ah, if God can give me marital life, the nation will know that I am into marriage counseling. <laughs> he took it. Then he blessed it. Prophetic was sharp. Your, your, your prophecy book is full. Sharp. Then he broke it. Yeah? Hey! Because the season of broken is the season of divine dealings. You will say to yourself, God, the season of breaking is so low and abased that you can forget all the prophecies. Hey, he true. broke it. Oh my goodness. He broke it before he gave it. That's why it's just a single journey of Jesus himself with you. Took, bless, break, give. God, why are you dealing with me this way? He said, the dealings can be like this, mm -hmm. but you must be like this. Mm -hmm. He gave, he took it, he blessed it. Then, boom, he broke it. Because by the time he took it, you think it's about you alone. By the time he broke it, then you discover that it's not about you. That breaking will kill selfishness, Amen. that breaking will kill pride, Amen. that breaking will kill. The, if the devil break it, <laughs> you might not be able to gather it. So God broke it in advance. Mm. So that when the devil comes with his weapon, you will say, devil, I've seen this before. Mm. That's why some discouragement you are passed through now, they say as if you are passing through when you are even high spiritually. It's because God is breaking it. If the devil tries it, it will not take you two minutes to fire him. But can you sustain the breakings of the God? Mm. It's influential God has broken us again and again. <laughs> but let me tell you, <laughs> He's about to give us. Yeah. yeah. What to give us? What to give us? They wake up one day and somebody will say, which church is it? It's influential. Say, We've not heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. The reason you're hearing it now is because it's giving us. Mm. It's giving us. The mantle of influence of Medway will rest upon us. Amen. We rest upon us. Amen. Principalities and power will submit Amen. because of the originality of the truth that God has given to us. Yes, Those empires that are far will move closer Amen. and move nearer. Amen. I you listen to what I'm talking about? Yes, I traveled to Nigeria for the first time on ministry. All the bees were paid. Yes, Not from my pocket. All the bees were paid. I didn't spend cash, I spent favor. Somebody, I went to Ilore. I went to Ilore to see my grandma, my mother in law. <coughs> Somebody that I've not spoken with in 16 years. Drop a car, drop the driver. That I've not spoken with. I spent favor, not cash. And now if I say the favor of the Lord is upon you, you say, where is it? He broke it. <laughs> he broke it. He broke it. He broke it. If it's the devil that wants to break it, tell him, touch no my anointed. And do my prophet no one. But if it is God that broke it, what will you tell him? <laughs> but let me tell you one thing about God that is beautiful. When he's breaking it, even a crumb, a crumb of that bread cannot be lost. Hey. Ah! <laughs> it can't be lost. Hey. For he that watches over his friend does not sleep no slumber. God is going to gather you back. Amen. And you will wonder, where did he break it from? If it is the enemy that broke it, we see this curse. But when God breaks it and puts it back, it's as if nothing was missing. It's the dealings of God. If only you can just align to abase you, to abound. 
everybody that will see the bread in his wholeness we know that he has been broken before, except he that was broken. <laughs> <laughs> except he that was broken. And you will say, you can't see it, but I know he broke me. Yes, and I know what he taught me while he broke me. Mm. And I don't want him to break me again. again. Oh, because true. I have tasted, you cannot pass through the school of the spirit once and not shape your common sense. Mm. That's why some of us can be proud. Mm. Forget about the way we walk. Forget about the way we can be proud. Can be proud. Even as a ministry, we trust in God for, for a better building so that we can set up all our gadgets, whatever. In the midst of this, we are still giving to other ministries. Yes, sir. I don't need to come to the stage to come and tell you. Still give to other ministry Because we know that when He breaks us, He pull us together. May I keep a word of the Lord for you today? That when He sees it, where God is going to mend you together. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When he breaks it, please allow him to mend you back. Just stay there. Don't run out of the school of the spirit. Amen. That's not the time to be prayerless. That's not the time to complain more. Because that, oh Jesus. Right? Do you know one thing about David? David rose up one day. By the destruction of his father, he caught the head of Goliath. Do you know what he did then? The Bible says when he left Goliath, he went back to the ship of his father. He didn't go to the palace. So, guys, I just called the head of Goliath. It's my season right now. Come on, give me the palace. Give me the... He went back. Why? Because he's a man that has been broken. Been broken. If you enter abundance and the things you were doing when you were at base, you stopped doing them. You didn't learn the lesson. If God delayed you as a single man, you know how to prepare the soup. You know it plus two is cut us heaven. Just for you to survive as a single man. A basement. And you're saying, God, this is too much for me. Then he gave me a woman. He said, I don't go to kitchen. You didn't go to school. Is that a word for somebody? Okay. Let's, are you blessed there? I mean, let's, let's, let's find out from this thing. So, for not put this down, please. Four things to know. And four things you should not forget. Learn to praise God, not things. Learn to praise God, not things. Whether you have things or not, God still wants to keep the praise on them. Are you with me? Yes, These are signs of men that have passed through this school of abasement. Number two, the way you handle people you left behind. Yeah. If you rejoice because we're better than others, your heart is not right. Yeah. The way you handle people you left behind. How do you know that God is breaking you? He delivers you from narrow-mindedness. Narrow-mindedness. Oh, and as I've already said, you get ready for the multiplication of your gifts. Get ready for the multiplication of your gifts. Father, we give you glory. The world is a good place. Lord, I commit everyone under the sound of my voice now and years to come. Help us. To a base to a band. A base of a A base of a A base of a In the name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory, we give you honor. Anyone discouraged under the sound of my voice, may this word benefit you hugely. 
in the name of Jesus. We have capacity to stand with God in respect of in the name of Jesus. Joy flowing from your spirit in the name of Jesus. New doors open in the name of Jesus. Increasing opportunities in the name of the Lord Jesus. The manifestation of prophetic words in the name of Jesus. Let's rest our feet and pray the Holy Ghost for few minutes. Lake back, Hosik, if I shake the horses. Over Hando Sahala Gabando Sikepa Kapa, Lendo Sikepalo Sa, Jegubagadambra Kata Paka Tote, Zingo Baguda, Legepo Opala Gaza, Vikepele Hosikebra Hosa Kata. Legada bashako pakoto peke temba gadabosha. Legede begede, you are not missing any seasons of your life. You are not missing any season of your life. You are not missing any season of your life. Lendo sika pala sofa ayaka. Zuguba gada, zuguba gada, zuguba gada, zuguba gada. Zuguba gada, bragando begede. Come on, go deeper, a little bit more. Raise your voice, pray in the Holy Ghost. Lekota pala kata bala basha, fresh fire, fresh fire. Man laga da bra kata baka da bongo do beke de basha. Leke ne boko do beke de bra gando baka to beke de boka ha. La kambo koto beke de bra gando baka da bakosa. Jeke te beke te baka da, jeke te beke de baka baka ba. Man tapa, man tapa, man tapa, man tapa. Lote iko pa kundi leko bando zike baka da. Man taso peke iko pa gando bro koto pe kutu baka da baka da. Zuba, Kemba, Kopa, Laka, Tabaya. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We, we bless the Lord at all times. And His praise shall continue to be in our hearts. In our mouths. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lord, I take from my heart and from the grace of God upon my life, I use it to bless your people. Amen. May they flourish in your way. Amen. Let not it pull them down. Amen. Give them energy of their hearts. Amen. Strengthen us with might in the end of our We will flourish in this land. We will fulfill destiny Amen. in the name of Jesus. Christ. And any season we are here right now, Lord, we give us grace to manage it well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will never experience confusion. Amen. But the Spirit of the Lord will keep confirming the word of the Lord in your heart. Amen. And you will be encouraged on daily basis. Amen. The sickness are healed. Amen. The sickness are healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our blood prayer disappear. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Right? Anyone with pain in their hearts, healed. In the Amen. name of the Lord Amen. Jesus, Christ. Amen. may your visions be clear. Amen. May your visions be clear. Amen. We raise a word of prayer to Russia right now. Yes, as I pick this in my spirit, Master. we command let every power and principality that's supporting evil in that land let them let them be quiet. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh yes, it's a season. Your energy has expired. Yes, Whatever is fueling you to fight has expired. Amen. We announce this today Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise and honor. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Awesome time. Amen. Let's have our seats in his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I believe we are blessed online. I believe you're blessed. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let's give unto the Lord. If you want to give your online, our account details are right there on the screen. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Anna, can you hand my pass? Amen. Amen. Um, 
Uh, Pastor, can I say we're not missing? You're not missing? Yeah, we'll work it out. Okay, we'll work it out this week. I will send something on our WhatsApp about that. So I wish everybody the best this week. I pray and I desire that our testimony will come in the name of Jesus. Amen. As many of us are believing God for something special, as in, you know, that's, there is a particular way. Sometimes I'm like, it's what's happened this week. I don't know if you are like me. I pray that as many that are having a desire that something must come this week. It wasn't, it soon come. You don't want it end of the month, but you just desire it. It comes this week. I pray you will have your testimony in the name of Jesus. I, I decree and declare that this week the sun and even for the rest of this year, the sun shall not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. Uh, the Lord will protect us and protect our children uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you know, no matter how good the NHS is, you will not need their service this yeah. week. <laughs> even this year, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the Lord will keep watch over you. The Lord will protect you. Your helpers shall increase uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I decree and declare you will not be at the wrong place at the wrong right time or at the right place at the wrong time your feet will be held out by god the lord will promote you the lord will honor you he will cause his face to shine upon you in the name of jesus that wherever you go wherever you go wherever you get you will spend the favor of god in the name of jesus victory is your portion testimony is what you will say in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit 